Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step inequalities. Now, one-step inequalities are just like one-step equations. We need to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself, by using the inverse or opposite operation. Remember, keep everything balanced. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. The difference between inequalities and equations are the number of solutions. So in our four examples, these are going to have an infinite amount of solutions. An equation is going to have exactly one solution. So you'll see what I mean as we go through the four examples there on the screen. Now we do need to remember we flip the inequality symbol when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. And we have one example of that in this video. So let's jump into number one where we have y plus seven is less than eight. So we need to isolate our variable of y. We're adding seven to y. So the opposite would be to subtract seven. So let's subtract seven from that side. And that's going to cancel those sevens out and isolate our y. Now, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if we subtract a seven on the left, we need to subtract seven on the right. And we end up with y is less than eight minus seven is one. So here is our answer. Y is less than one. So any number less than one would be a solution to that inequality. And let's try and test one out here. So zero is less than one. Let's see if that works. Let's plug in zero for Y. So we'll have zero plus seven is less than eight. Well, zero plus seven is seven and seven is less than eight. So zero was a solution along with anything else less than one an infinite amount of solutions. On to number two, where we have x divided by five is greater than or equal to three. So we're dividing by five. The opposite of dividing by five would be multiplying by five. So let's multiply both sides by five. The fives on the left cancel out, isolating the x. And we have x is greater than or equal to Three times five is 15. So X has to be greater than or equal to 15 in order to be a solution to that inequality. So let's try something out that's greater than 15. Let's try 20. 20 divided by five is greater than or equal to three. So 20 divided by five is four. Four is greater than or equal to three. So that's true, 20 would be a solution. Now 15 is included in the solutions for number two because it's an or equal to inequality. On to number three, where we have 14 is greater than or equal to n minus 11. So we need to isolate the n. 11 is being subtracted from n, so the opposite would be adding 11. So let's add 11 to both sides in order to um, isolate the n and keep everything balanced. So n is isolated and 14 plus 11 is 25. So 25 is greater than or equal to n. So n has to be less than 25 there or equal to 25. So let's test something out and see if it works. Let's do uh, 20. 20 is less than 25, so we will plug 20 in for n. So we have 14 is greater than or equal to 20 minus 11 is 9. And that is true, so 20 would be a solution along with anything equal to or less than 25. So this is our final answer for number 3. And lastly, number four, we have negative six times r is less than 36. So we're multiplying r by a negative six. The opposite of multiplying by negative six would be to divide by negative six. So let's divide both sides by negative six. That cancels the negative sixes out on the left, isolating the r, and we needed to do it to both sides to keep everything balanced. So we're left with r, and we need to flip the inequality sign when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative. So we need to flip that sign, 
and 36 divided by negative 6 is negative 6. So r is greater than negative 6. So anything greater than negative 6 is going to uh, make that inequality true. It's going to be a solution. So let's try out um, negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than negative 6, so let's plug that in. Negative 6 times negative 2 is less than 36. Well, negative 6 times negative 2 is a positive 12, which is less than 36. So um, negative 2 would be a solution along with anything else that is greater than negative 6. Now, the reason we flip that inequality sign is because flipping the sign will make the inequality true. Without flipping it, we're actually going to get um, incorrect solutions, the opposite of what we want. And I go into further depth about why we flip that sign and uh, more examples in some different videos. I'll drop those links down in the description. So there you have it. There's how you solve one-step inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.